So the area of the parallelogram was R and B times H. Okay, now of the triangle. It's half BH. Half BH, thank you. Okay, now uh, for the trapezoid. It's half times half H, 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 H times B1 plus B2. The summation of the bases. Yes, the area of the rhombus. Half times diagonal one and diagonal two. Or the kite, it is half, diagonal one, diagonal two, yes. And any regular polygon. It's half, half times half opposite AP. and perimeter. Half AP, yeah. Now let's start with some questions here. Now, you can use any side as the. Okay, I will I won't make, fill in the blanks now. You can use any side as what of the triangle? As a leg or as a, yeah. as a base? As a base. Yeah. As a base. As a base. Okay, what is the region? The region pounded by an arc and the two ready to the arc's endpoint. The region between the arc and the two ready or the end, I mean two radius to the arcs in point. What's the region between the arc here, if you have a circle, is this region, what we called it? Or sorry, this two, no, sorry, sorry. I mean this one. meter between us. A sector. Sector, thank you. Now, the distance from the center to the vertex is here, if you have. This is the radius. And the center from a vertex, center to the vertex. No, no, this is not a portion. This is high. No, someone say radius. Someone says radius. Is it radius? Yes, me. Ragad. Yeah, I think Ragad or Habiba. Me. Who are you? Habiba. Habiba. Okay, Habiba. It is radius. Now, two arcs of a circle with exactly one point in the common. Here we have a circle. You have this arc. And here. Or here we have a circle. Here we have this arc. Okay. And this arc. What did we call these two arcs? If they have exactly one point common. Adjacent, Adjacent arcs. arcs, yes. Okay. Now, if you have this parallelogram, this nine. And this is 10. And I want you to find the area of the parallelogram. 
Yes, Habiba. What is the area of the pearl ground? It's B times H. Yes, it the is B, B times, the height. times the height. What is the base? It's nine. It's nine. And what is the height? It's the line perpendicular and the base, it's 10. It is 10, thank you. So here, the area of the parallelogram is 90 inch squared. Thank you, Habiba. Okay. If you have now this triangle, and this is six, this is 10, and this is eight, and uh, I want to find the area of the triangle here. Lam. Lama. Half pH. Thank you. Half B times H, which is half. What is the base of the triangle? 10. 10, thank you. And the height? 8. The height? Here's the height. Um, 6. 6, thank you. So it would be 30. Uh, as an example, let's say this is centimeter. So it's centimeter squared. Okay. Now, and we said, uh, we talked about the trapezoid, rhombus, and kite. Let's have now this trapezoid here. Let's say that this is 11 and this is 15. This is six millimeter. And this angle here is six. The last one, wasn't it a right triangle? Yes. But you drew the hypotenuse to be eight, but it was 10. Oh, okay. And that who, um, okay. I put the numbers already. I forget that it is as six, ten, eight, and the ten must be the hypotenuse. Okay. Now the, the ten I add from my mind. Sorry, but just uh, to make you distinguish between the height and the hypotenuse. Thank you, Sasa. Okay. Now here we have the trapezoid. I wanted to find the area of the trapezoid. Yeah. We said it is half the height, base one plus base two. Now base one, it's certain, 15 plus six, which is 21. And base two, it's certain, it is 11, but I need the height. Using the third number three. Yeah, here now, this is the height. So do I have the opposite over the adjacent yeah. to the same tan? Tan 60 is H over 6. So tan 60 uh, it is sine over cosine. Detail the answer is 10.39. Tan 60 is the square root of 3 over 2. Over one over two, so square root of three, six times square root of three. So h it will be six square root of three. So it's a three square root of three times two times one is thirty-two. So it is nine six ninety-six square root of three or millimeter squared. And then it here is millimeter. Okay, here we need to find the area of the trapezoid. The base one is 11, base two is 21. I need to find the height. I have an opposite, I have an adjacent. So opposite over adjacent, which is the tan. And I have the angle here, which is 60. So tan 60 is H over six. Then tan 60 here, it's square root of three. equal h over x, uh, 6. My cross product, you will find that h is 6 square root of 3. Then replacing 6 square root of 3 
in H here, you will find that the area of the trapezoid is 96 square root of 3. Now, let's have this one here. We have an 6.5. 6.5 we have here an 8 and here we have a 10 now what is the area here before that what is this shape is the kite or a rhombus it's a kite why is it a kite habiba because uh, the long dimension is if it was a rhombus, it must be equal. Here, it's not equal. Thank you, yes. Here, there's a one diagonal must be, uh, or since the one diagonal perpendicular on the second diagonal, so it must be like an object on, uh, or it's bisector to it. So it must be equal. This is for the rhombus. As this is not equal, eight not equal to 10, and 6.5 here, Okay, it's equal to it, but 8 and 10, not equal. So, this will be a rhombus. And the area of the rhombus is half. The first diagonal, the second diagonal. Peter, you mean kite? Uh, kite, I said. Yeah. Now, uh, where's uh, Sarah? Yes, teacher. Yes, Sarah. What is the uh, length of the first diagonal? What or any diagonal you want. Here, the area of the kite is half diagonal one times diagonal two. What is the length of the diagonal one? Or any diagonal, I mean. 18. 18, bravo. And the second diagonal? 13. 13, thank you. So it is 9 times 13, which equal? 117 unit or squared unit. Thank you, sir. Right, okay. Now, what is the area of the regular hexagon with a parameter of 240 centimeter? Here we have a hexagon, it is regular, and the parameter here equals 240 centimeters. So now this is the hexagon. The parameter here is 240. Now we said that the area of the hexagon is half the upper term times the parameter. So the parameter here, 240. We need now to find the upper term. But before that, let's come back now. Here we have the upper term, uh, sorry. Or we say that the parameter is n times s, the number of the sides times the length of each side. So if we have 240, and we have hexagon, so we have six sides. So the length of the side is 240 over six, which is 40. Okay, then let's use another property or other, another thing. I know it, or I can find it. Which is what? The, 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 the central angle. angle. How can we find the angle here? We say the sum of 360 the angle. divided by the number of sides. 360, so 360 divided by, by 
so it is 60. Then, after I found the angle, after I found the length of the base, look at here, we have this small triangle, which we have 60. Here we have 40. I need to find the upper term. Where's the upper term? It's the one that uh, is opposite for the hypotenuse. Here, it is perpendicular so to the, the base. Line, so it's, um, it's the line perpendicular so in the base. So here, we have this triangle. Here we have um, 30. Here we, ha uh, we have a 20. And I need to find this A here. Here, the, for this angle, I have an opposite and the adjacent. So I will use tan. So tan 30 here is the opposite 20 over the adjacent A. Tan 30, which is square root of 3 over 2. A equals 20. Then. So 40. Square, uh, over square root of Teacher, three. Teacher, isn't tan square root of three over three? Wait a minute, please. Now the sine at tan, it is sine 30 over cosine 30. Sine 30, one over two, and the square root of three so over two. Ah, oh, yes, it is one over square root of three. I wrote it as uh, tan, thank you. So we say tan 30, it is opposite over A, which is 1 over square root of 3 equal 20 over A. So 20 is square root of 3, A, so A it will be 20 over square root of 3. So let's replace it now here. Half 20 over square root of 3 times 240. So it is 2 for 0, 0 over square root of 3. But teacher, I don't know yeah, if yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, please here. Just I it's supposed to be twenty square root of three, not twenty over square root of three. Teacher, teacher, I find in the calculator it is thirty four point sixty four. This is now the area of the hexagon. Uh, you have now the circle here. And we have an A, B, C and D. I want you now to name or oh, give me the name of the major arc here. It is A B. Major arc. It's A A C D. It be three letters. So P A, B C. It's A B C or B C D. Thank you. Okay. Of semicircle. It's A C A B C or A B C A B C or A D C. Thank you. The minor arc now. A B 
A, B, B, C, C, D, and C, D, A, D, A, B, C, D, A, D, B, C. Thank you. Okay. Um, If you have now this circle here, and this is the radius, which is equal to 4, I want you now to find the uh, circumference of the circle. Uh, what is the circumference of a circle before that? So here the radius is 4, so it will be? Times now, by the way, in finals, as I told you yesterday, uh, it was, uh, it will be 40, uh, inshallah, I will finish today, it will be 40 questions, okay, for in, uh, 90 minutes, so you have to prepare yourself to finish any question in two minutes, or 2.4, or 2.5 minutes, you can say, and some questions will be direct, just one step, Less than one minute, you'll find the answer. Uh, but some questions may be need three minutes or four minutes. So you can give one minute to another question. Um, another thing also here, if you find your, if you find yourself that you meant a question, take three minutes for you, skip it, or put choose any choice randomly and go to the next one. Don't waste your time. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Um, 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 and yesterday they told us that we have to use uh, Teams, not uh, Zoom. Okay, so prepare yourself for Teams cameras to be open. I am not. I will not be a monitor. Another teacher will be a monitor for you. Um, if you cannot open the camera, you can make the quiz, the final at school. Okay, inshallah, Ms. Kifaya, today we will tell you about this, uh, we'll tell you, sorry, about this, uh, about these things, about these, uh, these uh, rules, but you have to know that we have to use Teams. So don't tell me, teacher, there's no camera. There's no camera, you have to make this the quiz at school, and I will lead your quiz. If there, the camera is not open. And I will come to the quiz, to the final during this half an hour, and I will see who open the camera and who will not. Done. Teacher? Yes, Maya. Um, my problem is not the camera, is the mic in my laptop, uh, Teams, uh, the mic doesn't work. Hello, the mic, there's no problem with it. Because no, you okay. cannot ask, maybe if the teacher uh, or the monitor told you or ask you or call you right on the chat, teacher, the microphone is not working. Okay. Or send a WhatsApp to her, and it will be from your uh, teachers. Okay. There's no problem with the mic. And I am not... It's not, also, you cannot ask me any question. And let's see, so you have to solve with yourself like the finals. Oh, yeah, so like if I have a question in the exam, I don't have to ask, right? Yes. So. Okay. Here now you have the circle with a central angle 50 and a radius 10. I want you to find the length of this arc here. How do you find the length of the arc? It's going to be 50 over 360 multiplied by so 2 by 10. Over 360 times what? The circumference of the circle. The circumference or the area? The circumference. So what is the area? Where, when do I use the area? When I want when to find the area of a sector. The area of the sector. So you will find the length of the arc, you will use the circumference. 
but when you find the area of the sector, you will find a proportion of the angle to 360 times the area of the circle. Okay. So it is 50 over 360 times. The circumference of the circle is by a 2 by r. The radius here is 10. So 20 by times 50 over 360. So it is 25 over 9 by. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Um, in the exam, do we have to leave the answers in terms of pi? If uh, it is in, um, yes, yeah, some questions, yes. I uh, told you leave it in pi and the choices with pi, you know, like this. Okay. Teacher, are we about to use a calculator? Yes. Um, Final, I will uh, allow you to use it. Oh, I've, I'm actually in quizzes, no, but since you are, uh, it says online. But you said because we have the technology, so you should use the calculator. Yes, No, and when I was at school. Uh, this uh, 30, 60, 90, 180, we have to memorize it and we have to use it from one month. I didn't know that I didn't use the calculator until the uh, first year at the university. I didn't know, I didn't use it. I depend on myself how to multiply decimals, how to multiply fractions. That's why here I sometimes I simplify with you because actually I depend on it while I'm in school. But now that at university, I will use it because sometimes you will deal with complicated equations. So there's no time to calculate all. Now, uh, let's talk about the area of circles here before the period will finish. This is a circle here. And this is a sector. This is I want you to find the area of this sector. If the radius here is six centimeters. So the area of this bounded sector here, we say it is the angle over 360 times the area of the circle. Because in a sector, is a proportion or is a portion from a circle. So the area of the sector will be a proportion from the area of the circle. Now the area of the circle here, since the diameter is six, so it is by six squared. I need to find the angle now. The angle of this sector here is 110. So what about the shaded one? 250. 360 minus 110, which is 250. So it will be 25 by. This is the area of the sector here. Peter, are you asking me for the measure arc? Ah, oh, yes. Oh, um, I think there's a question like this. Or I deleted. I forgot. Uh, I think in this, I put someone like this. Okay, in the next period, I will uh, period I will uh, revise, uh, continue some questions with you for physics. And, uh...